What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are making a secret cut. I'm not gonna say y'all find out sooner or later when I, when y'all see I'm starting to make it. But we're making core shot Cinco's and y'all might be able to guess it or not. I don't know. But anyways, let's stir up our plastic. Now this plastic looks a lot yellower. Cause I've not stirred it up in forever. There we go. Look at the color change there. I'm trying my best to start making quality videos. Uh, I've been having baseball all week, so, or I do have baseball all week. Uh, so there's one of my issues with not being able to make videos. But also, I just, uh, I've been remelting a lot of baits and all that. Uh, I will do a remelt video after this video. And then we'll go to a, a new video, and then I'll go back into a remelt video and all that. So I'm going to keep stirring this up till I feel like it's good. Probably should grab some cups. <laughs> totally forgot. But, um, yeah, we're going to make some really cool uh, videos, to, or videos over this year. And uh, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, watch all the way through the video to see what these core shots look like. Okay, guys, I've got the plastic heated up, and uh, we'll put this other thing of plastic in there for the core. Okay, so, I have here baby bass. It looks backwards to me from on the camera, but this is baby bass from Lure Works. I've already kind of shaken it up, but I'm going to shake it up again. I don't know how many drops to do. I don't know what it looks like, but we're going to see what it hope oh, We're going to see what it looks like. And uh, obviously, it's uh, already kind of leaking, which I'm going to I don't know how many drops I was. This still feels a little thick. But I'm going to grab a... Uh, Okay, huh. all right, gotta wipe off some of this. Now, I, I don't think this is a color morph, so we're just gonna see. It's called baby bass, so it ought to look like baby bass, like an actual baby bass. Here, let me get the camera closer for y'all. Now, I am left handed, so I'm kinda gonna have to start right handed here. That already looks pretty sweet. Now I don't I don't need it too dark, otherwise it's gonna look bad. But looks like we've got some extra color right there. So I'm gonna see what this looks like. And we're gonna test it on some aluminum. Let's get the ribbon tail. Okay, maybe just a bit or just a tad bit darker. So I did about seven drops there. And I think we're gonna call this one good. If it's not dark enough, then we'll fix it, so. Okay, and then we're gonna make this just white pearl. I'm gonna open it like this. And we're just going to squirt that white pearl in there. Yep, y'all can see that. Oh, I'm sorry for the camera tilting, guys. My bad. I didn't notice. Ah, it feels thick on the bottom. I'll have to stir it back up again. Or heat it back up, my bad. Yeah, so here's the wiper. I'm going to have to get some white to whiten it up. So, let's add some more pearl. Let's go grab our white. Oh, I'm running out of white. Down to my wood. Alright, there we go. Now remember, I don't need it a thick white. I just gotta have a kind of thin white. Oh, I think that's perfect. I think we've got it. 
Okay, I'll say that's pretty good. Okay, I've already got the core rods in here, and I want to add the flake. Oh, we got a lot of air bubbles in this one. I might. Okay, guys, I'm gonna uh, revacuum this one. It's got so many air bubbles, and then we'll get onto it. But the flake I'm going to add in this will be pink. If I have any pink. Okay, well, I don't have paint, but I do have this uh, Ghost Pearl Violet. If I can open it. Hey, there you go. This is point fifteen, and I have to cover it because the fan's on. Oh my god, guys. That actually shows up real well in this green. Oh, yeah, guys. This will look amazing. All right, so let's start this up. I'm going to add just a tad bit of green, not too much, and then I'm going to add some gold. I don't know why, but gold seems like it fit real cool in here. I might add some purple in this. Uh -huh, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm not even going to worry about the green. There we go. All right, yeah, we're not going to add green, guys. I don't want to add green. We'll just see how gold and purple look, and I know gold and purple, they look pretty good in baits. I don't know about LSU and all that. I might add a bit more purple because I'm afraid the gold is just so big. It's 0.25 gold, but... Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, I am going to vacuum this, and then we'll get ready to do inject. Yeah, there we go. Now it's even. Actually, guys, we need this to be a bit darker, I think. All right, let's grab this. Gosh, this is one of these colors take forever. Yeah, that needs to be a tad bit darker. Just the tad. So, I'm going to uh, find my dark melon. Actually, let's just grab my black melon. And we'll add three drops. One, two, three. Let's add three drops and just see what this will do. Did that make it any darker? Okay, it did. I think I was supposed to use watermelon on this color. So, I'm going to go get some watermelon and watermelon it up. Okay, that should be good on the dark melon. Alright, there we go. Hopefully, we don't need any more colors, guys, because I'm going to heat both of these up. Alright, whatever. Maybe this will look better than I hope it does. Now, I'm, I'm, con I'm considering if I even did this color right. You never know, I might have made a really cool color, though. It ain't got to be like what I want it to look like. Okay. That's the thing about bay making. It will always look good unless you absolutely just make a bad color. All right, I'm going to eat these back up and be back. In okay, way. guys. So, we've got the colors nice and mixed up. I'm going to stir them up, do inject them, and hopefully the core rods are still slimy. I hope so, anyways. But, I think I've made it color. It's just gold with the violet purple, honestly. Like, it looks real nice. It almost looks like, uh, 
What's that one color? Not it's not watermelon and gold. It's a uh, what is it called? Ah. Uh, watermelon candy, the purple and all that. Oh, uh, 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 this injector's gotta be cleaned out. Oh, where's the towel? All right. Yeah, I've got to clean out this injector. Here we go. Oh, C block. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't panic. Okay, both injectors are in. Well, let's see. There we go. Now I do have two Cinco molds, but the other one is my neighbor's and he has this core shot rod, so uh, I can't make two. So uh, after this, I'm gonna just take them out, get them for just a second and all that. And uh, let's pull out the seat box. Okay, this actually might look better than it already does. Okay guys, so now that I've got this one finished, oh, I hope these did good. Uh, they're getting dense, which is not good, but I don't care. Moose, what are you doing? Oh yeah, guys, oh yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm spot on with the white pearl, I know that. So here is the white pearl, and uh, it looks pretty nice. Okay, let's look at this green pumpkin. Or not green pumpkin, I guess baby bass. Um, it's not bad either. These the core rods, okay, they're not sticking. So I'm going to take this off. All right, let's start taking off the worms here. I'm going to set off nice and easy. Okay, so I don't know if I want to throw the... I'm going to wait. We're going to let them sit. I'm going to make another round. And then uh, I'll make sure to give these some more. Yeah, these are sliding off nice. Okay. Oh, I really want these to do good today. Okay. There we go. Looking amazing. All right, time to do another shot. All right, here we go. Shot number two. Okay, sea block is empty. Let's put the worm mold back just a bit. Get these and uh, a little closer. Okay, there we go. Actually, they're still pretty hot, surprisingly. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's just take that out. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to get the other color nice and ready. And then we will do the cores. So, be back in a little bit, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. And uh, I'm got, we're, as you can tell now, you probably know what I'm making. And that would be the uh, rainbow trout. I'm grabbing my pink. I'm just going to light it up. Because I want this a very bright pink. I want it to stand out. That's why I made the white pearl and the green not so thick. I'm going to heat this back up too. It is a little... Thick, I should say, but I'm pretty sure. Let's just add a bit more. Okay, 
Okay, that is perfect. So I'm gonna heat this up, and uh, I'll show y'all these real quick. All right, let's look at this worm mold here. Okay, guys, I keep getting freaking dense. Why? Oh, and this one, they, these all flashed. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, maybe they'll still look good after I tear off all this extra. There we go. Okay. Well, as this one, these did not mix as well, which I don't care about. Okay, yeah, so these did not mix as well, I guess because they weren't as hot. But they still did real good on the cold parts. I'll show y'all these in a second. Or I'll show y'all I'll show y'all this one. Try to see if I can get that violet to show. There it is. Okay, it's about time we inject the paint. So I do have to get the injector. I have to, I'm gonna make it a single injector. It'll be easier that way. So let's do that real quick. And gosh, dang, this thing doesn't want to balance. Oh, it's on plastic. So what I can do here is actually get both Cinco molds and do it at the same time so then i get both rounds done and it's a quicker video so we're gonna do that real quick and i'm also gonna clean out this freaking bottom of the injector okay there we go be back when I have everything ready. All right, guys. Yeah, I know. It looks like I've already injected in my damn show. Nope. I've got everything ready. Finally. All right. We're stirring up the paint. And um, let's get to injecting. Lord, I need you to make these look good. Well, I can do it with one here. One whole injector. I thought I'd have to do it with two. the pressure there we go all right i i think these will look amazing now these are the only ones i'm making right now because i am going to eat my lunch <laughs> and then i've got baseball so when they come off uh, i'll show y'all show them to y'all all right i think they've done enough let's look at these base baby okay let's just throw this one out of the way doink my uh, dog has the cone of shame, guys. Has the cone of shame. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, it's that cone when they can't, like, uh, around their neck. He has to wear it, because, oh my god, what happened? No! Why didn't the course feel? Okay, well, one of these actually feels thing or two uh guys no no okay yeah they uh didn't turn out as good as i thought they would in the light it looks amazing uh, you can't tell through here i mean you can see i think yeah, it's, it's like a little dark in the middle. That That's it, but uh, I think I made the uh, white pearl a little too uh, 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 bright and the pink. And then the I should have used watermelon because this baby bass color is uh, different. It looks good, but 
Then these other three didn't feel. I guess they tried to anyways. And then it kind of just went over the whole body. Like this. So that sucks. At least I've got two though. I'm going to figure out this freaking color. It's crazy that it did that. Kind of mad now. So much for uh, them looking good. Maybe these did better. Oh my god. I don't even think these filled. That one didn't do anything. That one got some of it. it. Looks terrible. You can't tell. This one got it, but like you can't even tell because it missed. Ah, oh, I ain't scrapping this video, but good lord, I can't. Ah. Oh. I'm going to try to make a green and pink because I think the pink looks amazing. And then this one, yeah, this one filled, but it also got that extra pink over it. But that pink tip does look pretty nice. So, man, do I have a full sack or a full stack? I'm trying to see if I can find another one that did well. Okay, no, I don't. No, I don't. Well, that was me trying anyways. I'll make sure to do better on these guys next time. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'm going to do them off camera one day, and I'll just post a picture on Facebook or whatever. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to follow and like on uh Follow and like me on Facebook, and uh, until then, see you next time.